certainly not the best way to spend the holiday weekend. People across central Indiana will spend their Christmas vacation cleaning up after a round of severe weather, including at least one tornado confirmed in Johnson County. Packing winds up to 100 miles per hour. The good news this Christmas, no injuries or deaths reported. And we have team coverage tonight. Kevin Gregory, of course, standing by for the outlook on what's next weather-wise. Liz Adiola and Chance Walls are out tonight surveying the damage. But we begin our team coverage with some stunning new video out of Decatur County that you will only see here on RTV6. This video is from a security camera at North Decatur Elementary School. It shows just how quickly that powerful storm system moved in. RTV6's Paris Lubell has more from Decatur County. Paris. We're actually just on the Rush Decatur County line right now, and what I'm standing on is the remains of a pole barn. In just a few minutes, during that storm, during the peak of that storm, it all blew away. It all came in less than a minute. In this exclusive video from Decatur North Elementary School, you can see the sheer power of the storm, leaving a path of destruction. I was standing in the trailer, and we got a trailer part over here, and you can feel the center saying, go, scoom, and we went. That's what it sounded like, big, heavy wind just come right down through there. Did you know what it was at first, or did you? No, I had no idea at all. I was standing there at the front, and it just come through the ceiling. Scared me to death. I never had anything like that in my life happen to us. It was scary. In neighboring Rush County, more storm damage. This house had its roof blown off during the storm. First responders taking call after call for storm damage, but they say they won't get a real idea of how bad it is until the sun comes up on Christmas Eve. Things we found at night is not everybody's reported tonight because there was a lot of family gone for the holidays. Uh, people have gone working, uh, working later out to parties. They're coming home now, just now, and trying to find, starting to find damage that's being turned in at this time. Now, the emergency management director says they're not sure yet if it was straight line winds or a tornado. They say they're going to have the National Weather Service out here tomorrow to make that determination. Now, the good news out of this, there were no injuries in either of the two counties. Indicator County, Paris Lubell, RTV6. Thank you, Paris. And that tornado had wind speeds up to 100 miles an hour. It knocked down trees and destroyed buildings around Valley Smith Road in Greenwood. RTV6's Emily Monet was there moments after the severe weather pushed through and has more on the damage. My goodness, what the heck happened here? What happened was an EF1 tornado. There was a window pane blown out and then... Um, a portion of the uh, a gable ripped off where an old non-functioning antenna used to be. But uh, the garage was just completely flattened and blown over. What's left is collapsed on top of Old Blue, Daryl Francis's longtime family car. When, you, when a window gets blown out of your house, you know the wind's blowing pretty hard. Yeah. Authorities estimate the tornado traveled a quarter of a mile. I did actually see a uh, swir uh, swirling mass uh, right around the... Uh, you know, where that uh, area is. The path is marked by snatched off shingles and uprooted trees. Likely the most damaged home here on Smith Valley Road is also the oldest. You know, I used to I used to play ball in that yard, and that's where uh, my grandpa and I used to hang out. And uh, and uh, part of his house has just been crushed by a gigantic old tree, and uh, kind of tugged at the heartstrings a little bit because that you know there's some emotional attachment to it. Still, residents here say with this clear showing of force, they're thankful no one was hurt. You know, just a minor setback, and we'll just we'll have to get through it. The National Weather Service said the tornado's path was up to 75 yards at its widest. Now toward the tail end of that tornado's path sits an animal hospital along State Road 135 in Greenwood. Several of the employees were actually inside when the storm rolled through. RTV6's Chance Walzer joins us now there live as they clean up that damage that was left behind. Chance? The restoration crews have been out here most of the evening working to seal up this clinic after that tornado came through and ripped off about a third of the roof from that building. High winds then carried that debris about 150 yards over State Road 135, dodging people and power lines before it came crashing down into the parking lot of an urgent care facility. Fortunately, no people or animals were hurt. Still some tense moments as that tornado blew through. Well, it was kind of shocking. I'm just glad to know everybody was, was safe. And what was really remarkable is the fact that nobody was hit by the flying debris. Uh, I mean, that was about a 40, 40 by 80 section of roof, including the gables and everything that blew off. 
And that veterinarian says despite the roof and water damage, he still plans to have the place open for business as usual tomorrow, 7 a.m. Live in Greenwood, Chance Walser, RTV6. And our team coverage moves north to Noblesville, where at least 16 homes in one subdivision were heavily damaged during the storms. Residents know they have a tough time ahead as they clean up, but they're happy no one was seriously injured. Liz Adiola has that story from Hamilton County. The cleanup process is getting underway right now here at Twin Oaks of Noblesville. 16 homes were damaged during Wednesday evening storms. Residents say a dark cloud appeared within minutes. They saw debris from roofs and siding all scattered about. One restoration company even shared pictures from inside one of the homes that was hardest hit. Those residents were at church and came home to this scene. Noblesville firefighters check each house to see if there were any injured victims. We've went door to door. Uh, there are no injuries. People are okay. Uh, but it was a devastating event that these people went through here. And that's one positive out of all of this. If there's another, neighbors came out in droves to help one another after this devastation happened in their community. They went from house to house. And for neighbors who weren't home, they picked up their Christmas gifts to make sure that those weren't damaged as well. Reporting in Noblesville, Liz Adiola, RTV6. And check out this video from Perpetual Technologies, a business at 56. Than Lee Road in Lawrence. The owner says the roof ripped off during the storm today. They're now trying to cover all their valuables. The roof went flying several hundred feet into nearby neighborhoods. One woman tells us the winds were so strong she thought a tornado was coming. And of course, you can head to the RTV6 app to view more pictures from today's severe weather out there. You can also follow the path of the storms as it rolled through and stay updated on the efforts to clean up in time for a merrier Christmas.